the last 25 years of my legal practice, I've been dealing with um, asbestos-related diseases and with mesotheliomas particularly, and know that that's a specialty that you develop. So you're the director of the International Mesothelioma Program. I started practice at the Brigham and began to see a fair number of mesothelioma cases, uh, certainly because of the shipbuilding industry here around New England. And uh, with that, we began to try to figure out some effective treatments. There really wasn't a standardized treatment for mesothelioma. And I really relied on something my father told me. He was a cancer surgeon. He said, Dave, it's two steps. First step, take out all the tumor you can see. Step two, eradicate the rest of it, the microscopic disease. And uh, the International Mesothelioma Program was begun back in 2002 as a way of putting together all the areas of uh, progress that had happened across the Harvard Medical School and across the Brigham together as a coordinated program focused on the patient and the research that would benefit the patient and also a support program to help the patient and their families get through what is a difficult time. Your patients aren't just people that live in the Boston area. You accept patients from all over the country. Tell me how um, if I have a, a client that's in Indiana or Louisiana or Wyoming, tell me how they find out about you and your research and your progressive treatment of mesothelioma. The website is brighamandwomens.org. And uh, when they get to that website, they'll see the IMP. They can click on it and uh, go right to a very comprehensive web page uh, that will acquaint them with the IMP. Uh, there's a number of stories there by patients themselves who've been through uh, the program and they'll talk a little bit about what they went through and how life's been afterward. So it's a comprehensive uh, website and I think patients and their families will uh, really benefit from looking at that.